Hi, evening of 2.22 for me. <laughs> My day um, was full again of different treatments, including hyperthermia. Um, when the doctor came in this morning and he realized that he didn't put it in the schedule for me to get hyperthermia every day until I get my um, IPCT, which is the uh, insulin, insulin poten potentiated chemo treatment. Anyway, that's the one with the chemo. That's the big one on Friday. I'm supposed to have hyperthermia every day up until that. And um, they were able to squeeze me in. I'm telling you this, you know, they were just like, it just doesn't stop. People just go for treatment, 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 treatment. In fact, um, anyway, so they squeezed that in. That was wonderful. And the only way I could get my infusion and get this particular treatment is to take my infusion bag with me. So now I became that person I was telling you about <laughs> walking around the hallways with my IV bag. That's funny. That was me today. And um, the one, this drip, I think it was the procaine I got again today. Um, literally, the guy said, you know, in his broken English, 90 minutes to two hours. And I'm thinking, okay, you know, it's cutting it close. I might have to take my bag with me. But it was a three hour bag. So he must have had it dripping really slowly. It didn't matter. It was more of a, uh, it was more of a funny that I became the person I was talking about, but that's how life is. That, that has a tendency to happen. <sighs> uh, let's see. And then I got nothing new. I got the same, um, the same treatments that I had gotten yesterday. Um, the oxygen deprivation one, that's what I'm calling it. I don't really know if that's what it is doing, but it's making my body work with less oxygen. So it's making my body have to really, really, you know, work as though I'm climbing a mountain, but I wasn't. And I'd rather be, can I tell them that? I wonder if that would fly. You know, I can go run some stairs. <laughs> anyway, um, I got that one. I got the oxygen back replenished. I got the foot detox, the Fusbad, Fusbad detox, Fusbad. And, and, and because I wasn't able to get lunch down there, Matthew, of course, went down and picked up lunch and brought it up to the, up to my room for me, which was actually really nice because I had like a two hour window and I wanted to take a nap, but then I was really, really full because I ate the entire, I'm eating like everything. Both Matthew and I are eating the exact amount of food during the days, which is kind of funny because <laughs> I can eat a lot of food. But I was like so full that I didn't want to nap. So I sat and like did laundry in the sink. Did I mention that? They don't have a laundry service here. We can find a laundry service, but we're like washing our shirts and we take a shower because we don't have to minimize our water like we do in California. Our showers are like, you know, three minutes long. So, but this shower, I'm like, chicka, 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 washing my shirt, washing my undies, washing my shorts, wash my Lululemon, hang, I'm hanging everything up. And then when I get out, I take everything out on the bat on the patio and I just like fold all my clothes, just like oh, drape them over the chairs. It's really attractive. It's a good thing I don't live across the way from our balcony. No, and actually no one can really see it. I'm not hanging anything over the railing because then it would be wood and stain possibly could, you know, damage my clothes and I would hate for that to happen. So um, what else is going on? That was it. I was going to keep it just short and sweet and tell you that, oh, 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 last night I ended up with a big old fat headache and it was the amount of detoxing that all these detoxification treatments are putting my body through. I didn't drink enough water. I thought I was, but it was not enough. And so in the middle of the night, I, I knew I did, just didn't want to take anything because I'm detoxing. It would not maybe counterintuitive to take something to make me feel better if I'm trying to get rid of it all. Anyway, all night long I was drinking, meaning all night long I was peeing. That was fun. That wakes me up. Every, every two hours, I was like, really? Got to be again. 
Really? Gotta pee again? Like you needed to know all that. But it's important. It's part of what I'm going through. It's all a learning lesson. <sighs> hmm. But it's kind of fun, I have to say. We're having a, a very weirdly kind of a good time. It's a weird good time. It's not like it's a... <laughs> It's like everybody's here for treatment. You know, people are really quiet because they're either not feeling well or don't speak the language or, you know, it's very just, they keep, you know, everybody keeps to themselves. And here Matthew and I can't wait and we like look around, make sure no one's watching. We get out and, um, and walk the neighborhoods and the streets. And tonight is no different. We, I'm going to tell you a story because it was fun. We went towards that wooden bridge that I was telling you about, right? Around, it's like literally around the bend and then down this street. And all of a sudden there's this wooden bridge, river, two rivers, meld into one. But then you can go to the right and it's a whole nother park. This is more of a, more of a grass park, like a mowed grass park, big and pathways around the edges with hello, giant garden boxes. Do you know how cool that was? And everything's labeled. You know, there's thyme and marjoram and some kind of a curry and lavender and sage and flowers and different. There were, there were like four or five and they were at least probably 10, 12 feet long and about five feet wide. It was, I mean, I just think that's, amazing because it's a public public takings you need some time for your for your chicken tonight go out to the park and go to the garden and pick it how lovely is that hmm <laughs> god just it just warmed my heart okay and on top of that we continued walking down this path around this park very pristine park because they take immaculate care of their greenery and their flowers. Flowers like I've never seen and everything is blooming. Random weird looking things with stalks and little sticks, you know, prickery, pricky, pricky things. And then poof, this ginormous lavender or this poof, ginormous magenta, super cool flowers. Anyway, we continue on the back side of the, of the park. <clears throat> There's an aviary, right? an aviary. And so we just stood there and we watched all the birds that were in there. A lot of them were, you know, like the, um, not parrots. I'm not a, I'm not a, don't know my birds all that well, like parakeets and lovebirds and the little like finch, but the colorful ones, the colorful little blue ones and the white ones, tons of white ones. And then these big birds with these long tails, but a short head, so it wasn't like a wood, uh, like a roadrunner type. Anyway, it was just beautiful. It was really fun, and they were loud. Matthew just happened to be on a. Oh, that's right. He just happened to be on a uh, a uh, work call, and we were walking at that moment. And he says, <laughs> "They're all going. What are you? What is that?" And he says, "Sorry." <laughs> and all the birds are like. Ee -ee -ee -ee. So he literally had to walk away from the aviary because it was so loud. I loved it. Anyway, we went back into the t into you know a side road through the path through another town or part of the town. It was like, and at night everything is lit up and cafes, 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 all the eating outdoor and it's just beautiful here. I'm in love. And then we came back and then our nurse barged in like she always does because that's what they do here. <laughs> we were talking about that. They like to just open the door. <laughs> hoping that they'll catch you doing something, I think. I don't know. And um, we had both just gotten out of the shower, but we were both wrapped up because we're learning. <laughs> oh, boy, we learned. It's like, who <laughs> did? They just walk in and stick the thing in my ear for a temperature and, you know. Did you have your bowel movement? Yeah, did that too. <laughs> That's a nightly question. So, very important. Uh, did you want to know all this? Yes, you did. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so we just got out of the shower. We're gonna stay damp because it's quite warm today, tonight. Although we are gonna get rain again, I think tomorrow. I hope, 
I like it when it rains because we don't get that very often. And I'm gonna sign off early. Good night. <laughs> I love y'all. I love me all. And I'll talk to you tomorrow.